What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. It has been a minute since I've done any kind of sneaker content on the channel and quite simply that's just because I haven't bought any sneakers. But that has changed and I have a couple of items that I want to share with you today. So I actually picked up a pair of sneakers in October that I didn't do a video on. I hit on sneakers and I didn't do a video because the release in Japan was pretty well after the release in the States. So I was thinking, you know, a bunch of people already talked about these shoes and I wasn't thinking that I was going to be able to add all that much to the conversation. But I wanted to show what I managed to hit on. I hit on sneakers for the Jordan 1 Low OG Starfish or the Shattered Backboard. And they are really, really hot. I really like them. I'm a huge orange sneaker fan. I have a, like, I have way too many orange sneakers in my collection. And these are a very welcome addition. Basically an incredibly well done sneaker. I love how it comes with the white and orange laces, although being a huge lover of orange and the contrast of the orange and black and white, I'm probably just gonna keep the black laces in it because that just looks really dope to me. Now, I actually have another pair of Starfish Lows that I've had since last year, and you might recognize them. They are these Starfish Lows with the orange toe, and obviously they're not the OG sort of styling because they've got the Jumpman tongue and the embroidery in terms of the Jordan wings on the back is completely different. It may be a little bit hard to tell on camera, but this pair is wider across the forefoot than these, and so hence the nine and a half in these and why I felt I had to go for a full on 10 in this particular pair, because the OG cut is just a little bit more narrow. Which one do I like more? I haven't actually worn these yet, obviously, because the tag and the laces are still on it. And I've worn these a fair amount because, like I said, I just love orange sneakers. That aside, let's get into the actual new pickup, the one that I paid resale on, because you can tell that because I used the sneaker dunk company to purchase these. I didn't get these on sneakers. I waited. I knew these were not going to be expensive. I knew they were not going to have a commanding resale price because, well, there's just no particular hype on these. I actually paid less than retail. You could probably guess if they're not the Dunks because the Dunks, there's no getting those for under retail. So that leaves either the Prestos or one of the two Air Force One pairs. Thank you very much, Sneaker Dunk. Someday I'm gonna get you to sponsor my channel, I hope. But here we have a blue and silver Nike Air Force One box. And in this box, oh, we have some really nice star paper. That's a good touch. A little thank you note from Sneaker Dunk Company. And these are none other than the Air Force One in the Halloween black and orange and white colorway. And this upper has all these little monster eyes and monster features all over it, which will glow in the dark if exposed to light, activated by light before wearing them. So yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't justify spending the money on the dunks, which are, you know, they're basically the same thing. Maybe a cleaner colorway because they got the white hits in mid panel area rather than the straight up black, but I don't know. I, I feel like buying these and spending almost $200 less for the Air Force One version. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. And these I feel are way more wearable than the Skeleton Toe Air Force Ones that they come out with every Halloween. Uh, maybe the purple ones are pretty cool and the original like black ones maybe, but I actually had a pair of the orange ones. I did a video on them and I ended up selling them because it was just one of those things like other than wearing them in the month of October, they weren't going to be all that much useful in my rotation on the daily. 
But these, you know, they are Halloween Air Force One, but I really feel like the plainer black with the white and orange, I can wear these more often. These are nicer, like the leather quality. I mean, it's not fantastic. It's still an inexpensive Air Force One, but the leather on the orange skeleton toe ones that I had had that kind of pleather plastic PCV feeling to them, whereas this actually feels like leather and it feels like there's a better padding throughout the heel and around the ankle. So overall, like the quality of the materials is clearly better. So <laughs> another orange sneaker for me in my collection. Ta-da! Let me know what you think. Which one of these is the shoe that you would really like to have the most? And do you approve of my pickup of these rather than spending the extra money on the dunks? I know that uh, I haven't done a lot of sneaker content recently, but I actually have three more videos dropping soon. So please look for those. And thank you very much for watching this particular video.